A friend of mine recently posted something controversial and inflammatory on Facebook, and when I saw that, I was like, no, this cannot stand. So I did what anybody else would do. I got into a heated argument with him until eventually he saw the error of his ways, recanted his original post, and apologized to anybody he might have offended. The fact that the story I just told you is totally made up should be pretty obvious to you. And the reason it should be obvious to you is because that never happens when people get into it online. Most of us have seen or experienced the opposite outcome from behavior like that. That's why a long time ago I created a rule for myself that I'm not allowed to get into arguments online. Now if you know me or have been on my Facebook page, then you probably are about to point out that I break that rule, which I totally admit. That's why I created the rule, because I don't have the self-discipline to just behave accordingly. So I had to create a rule to govern that behavior. And that's really important because I'm a really opinionated person. After all, I'm spending a lot of time creating videos expressing those opinions. So here's why I created that rule. Even in those rare occasions where I hands down won the argument, they never adopted a new conclusion based on that. What usually happened is they just started avoiding me after that. The second reason has a little more depth to it. So Bear with me as I try to explain this. Human beings have inherent value and therefore human rights. As a result, I believe that every person should be shown respect and never contempt. Simply put, hatred towards another person should be avoided at all costs. Ideas, on the other hand, simply by virtue of being an idea, do not deserve our respect. They have no inherent rights. So you can show hatred for an idea and not necessarily be guilty of something immoral. When we have face-to-face -face conversations with other people, the reality of their inherent dignity is hard to avoid because we're reminded of their humanity the entire time. They're right in front of you after all. As a result, it's a lot harder to violate their human rights or say something hurtful because the consequences will be immediate and undeniable. They'll react and you'll see it. When you have a conversation with somebody online, however, the reality of their humanity isn't present to you in the same way. All you have is an avatar and the ideas. The ideas overwhelm our perception of the fact that there's a human being on the other end of that conversation. And because the ideas are so overwhelming, it becomes a lot easier to treat the other person as if they were the ideas. In other words, it's easy to treat them with contempt and to forget that you're disrespecting a person rather than just an idea. So to prevent myself from falling victim to behavior that would treat another person the way I might treat an idea, I've imposed this rule on myself. And if you agree, I'd invite you to share this video as a declaration for why you won't get into arguments online either. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna try and make one of these videos a few times a month and hopefully we can get it up to about once a week. And they're gonna be about topics that are interesting to me and hopefully interesting to you too. And so if they are, please subscribe and come find me on Twitter and elsewhere and stay tuned.